Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 15th to the 21st of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have? Let me just adjust the microphone one second. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Aries, 15th to the 21st of February, 2021. Okay, so I have closure. A door closing, closing the door on something, walking on. Okay, what do we have for Aries, please? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I've got new beginnings. I mean, those two cards say it already, don't they? A door closing and we have new beginnings, walking towards new beginnings. Very lovely energy there. Okay. So Aries, I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is... The issue or challenge, as you all know by now. The second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is the outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. 15th to the 21st of February, 2021 message for Aries. Okay, so I have the Seven of Swords in the challenge position. We have the Magician. Seven of Cups is your outcome. Okay, so what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aries. Message for Aries, please. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Thank you. 15th to the 21st of February, 2021. Okay, so we have... The Eight of Swords, and we have Justice. The Two of Cups is linked with the Magician, very nice energy. The Seven of Cups, we have the World, major completion. Um, and the bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. Okay, Aries. So there's a feeling of closure and new beginnings here. The challenge position, the Seven of Swords, is, is an interesting one because it, it could well be that you're secretly working towards something you know <laughs> interestingly enough in the in the challenge position it can be a card of secrets keeping something to yourself you know it, it is can be a putting a, a secret strategy into action or a secret plan or you know some kind of secrets that you're not telling anybody else about you're keeping to yourself Generally, until you achieve the goal, you know, it's that kind of energy. So for some of you, it, it, it feels, it feels in this energy that there is some kind of something that you're keeping to yourself here. And taking action in a secret way. The justice card is... Interestingly enough, with the Eight of Swords, the Justice card can be about legal proceedings, government institutions, 
or, or experiencing something that requires justice, therefore injustice. Certainly in the challenge position, that could be the case. Some kind of injustice or you might be going through some legal proceedings and you're just keeping some actions that you want to take. It's generally towards a new vision or a new goal or something that you want to make happen, but you're keeping to yourself because this is happening. And it feels like you don't want to tell anybody about it. You know, the Eight of Swords is this energy of, I'm definitely getting what was once for me, might not be for me, be for me anymore. I'm definitely getting this energy of what worked for me before. I don't see, um, I don't know if it's for me anymore. And I'm, I'm definitely getting this kind of energy here, Aries. I mean, yes, this can be about negative thinking, um, negative thought patterns and so on to do with some injustice and doing something about it but it also feels for some of you that you're taking steps in a secret way and um, something that you thought was once for you before there's been some kind of unfairness injustice maybe some kind of legal element to this as well and it could be even be to do with contracts here as well. I mean, it's not limited to that, but it could well be to do with some kind of contract. And what was once for you, you're not sure it's for you anymore. And that's why you're taking these secret actions. Yeah. Interesting. Because the magician is, how do I change? How do I create and unfold a new path? You know, I have the power to manifest whatever I set my pure intention to. So you focus upon it with all your skill set, your mental acuity, your intuitive energy, your action, your inspiration, your passion, your drive. And you have the ability with 110% belief in your capability to bring positive transformation in your life. It can be a new path unfolding. So this is about what is it that you want to manifest because now is the time to manifest it. And what are you manifesting? Well, you're manifesting for some of you it feels to do with new love and um, the two of cups yes it can be love romance relationships the beginnings of a new relationship generally kindred spirits connections but you know this is also to do with bond with somebody a bond between two people that could be in terms of business partnerships creative projects you know, that kind of energy, finding a like-minded soul, you know, who bonds with you, you have a connection with them, you know, it's that kind of energy. So for some of you, that could be in terms of money, career, business as well. Some kind of secret things, something that you're keeping to yourself right now, even secret, even secret feelings or expressions, you know, that kind of energy as well, if it's love, but it also feels creative partnerships, something that's very, very much close to your heart, somebody who has a like-minded outlook, they're a kindred spirit, you bond with them. So again, the Two of Cups can be an offer or an invitation, bonding with an important connection here. Yeah, so that could be in business, you know, it could be with friendships, you know. Like I said, it's just what you're manifesting here. So... The Seven of Cups is, you know, your hopes, dreams and wishes. Can be about choices, but it's also to do with opportunities. Something that's very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes. And again, it feels that somebody is offering you one of these cups. You know, some kind of opportunity with somebody who you're really connected to. Um, and the World card is a card of some kind of accomplishment, achievement, because with this Seven of Cups, there is definitely some opportunity. This, uh, the Page of Cups is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. Now, yes, this can be a message of love, linking in with this Two of Cups here. So new love, a new love interest, you know, um, can be a bit of infatuation, can be a bit of dreaminess again with this Seven of Cups energy if it's to do with that. Um, this can also be, so if it is to do with love, it is you're stepping through to a new phase of your life and that's beautiful. The, 
The Page of Cups can also be to do with creative opportunities, something that's very much connected to your heart centre, something you really want. So offer or opportunity here, Aries. And again, the message very clearly, it, it feels in this energy is there is some victory, sense of achievement, accomplishment. What you hoped would be one of your hopes, dreams and wishes is being offered to you. It definitely feels there's some kind of offer and opportunity coming your way, which is bringing some sense of achievement, goal achievement, accomplishment. Yeah, now this can be linked with travel as well for some of you. Uh, things coming full circle, so some kind of completion, stepping through to a new phase of your life, because this page is bringing in the new beginning. And again, what you've been manifesting here, it definitely feels the new beginning is unfolding. So, like I said, somebody who you are connecting to, bonding with this week, is bringing in some kind of opportunity. Um, offer opportunity invitation that could be in love new love unfolding that could be to do with also creative opportunities something very close to your heart in terms of business career um, very very beautiful energy here but it's what you're wanting to manifest now secretly wanting to manifest it definitely feels for some of you it's happening the new beginning is unfolding and it's by your actions, you are working your magic to manifest, to create this new path for yourself. So I'm going to pull any other advice, any other advice, please, angel spirits, guides, any other advice, please. And it comes after. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say it comes after. You know, it definitely feels this negative energy that you've been experiencing. I definitely see that with the Justice card. Um, breaking free of a bad cycle is what I'm feeling. Breaking free of a bad cycle and secretly putting a plan into action to do that. And opening, it up, to some, opening up to something that is going to bring you joy. Lifting your spirits, you know, that kind of energy. But brings a sense of achievement, accomplishment, victory, success into your life. The world card is a card of worldly success as well. So I'm going to pull one more card, Aries. Any other message, please, for Aries? Any other advice? Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, you were burdened. There's definitely an energy of being burdened. Uh, something being... I definitely get the straw that breaks the camel's back here. Some kind of unfairness. I mean, like I said, could be legal proceedings, whatever you've been dealing with, some kind of unfairness. The devil is about instability. Coping with some kind of instability or someone that's caused instability that could be in whatever area of your life. Um, it can be toxic relationships, power struggles, codependency, manipulation, call it what you will. Uh, shadow energy is generally the devil energy. And you've been dealing with that. You've been putting some kind of secret plan into action to release the burdens. And again, the 10 is a completion. The burdens are about to be released if you allow them to be released now and manifest some kind of new path for yourself. The messages make space for the new here, Aries, because there's something really beautiful happening, you know, with these cups energies. Cups is to do with our emotions, our feelings, our heart center, something that really brings us joy and happiness and very much connected to some kind of hope, dream or wish. Yeah, so powerful new beginning energy there. So I'm going to pull a final card. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Believe in magic. Wow. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern lights says you are part of nature, so you are magical too. I mean, this is definitely an energy here of everything is right. The soil is right. The seeds are ready for growth. The conditions are ready for you to manifest something. You might have secretly had feelings or secretly, you know, been wanting to take action towards a goal here, towards a hope, dream and wish. And for some of you, one of these cups is being offered to you here. Now, like I said, creative projects can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It's a general reading, but you will feel the magic this week. The message is to feel the magic because it's all around you and within you. Very, very beautiful indeed, Aries. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.